So the next thing that I want to talk about is Bill Flash. How many of you use Bill Flash? One table. Okay. How do the rest of you process your statements? Manually? Fee manually? -manually. (laughs) How long does it take you? Does it take you a long time? Is it fun? No comment? It's, it, your boss is there. <laughs> so how much does it cost to send one statement? How much does it cost, do you think? Five dollars? Per statement, about $5. It's anywhere from $1 to $5. If you count the stamp, the envelope, the paper, the, uh, the toner, the labor, licking the envelope, driving it to the post office, or having someone come pick it up. Is, is it, would you say it's a fair statement to say it costs at least a dollar to send a statement? At least a dollar, okay. We have a partnership with a company known as Bill Flash, and we have Mike Smith who's gonna come up here in just a minute to talk about um, the Bill Flash side of things. We've had a relationship with them for a couple of years now. We've talked to you about them before. With version 17, we actually took our partnership with them to the very next level. Um, We have completely integrated Bill Flash into version 17 so that it is part of uh, the the practice management system and it'll also bring you some other benefits that we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, So the way that you would use Bill Flash in version 17 before is come in here to statement management and we're going to hit print send. It's going to come up and ask for the way that we want to send our statements. Those of you who are not using Bill Flash and those of you who are using Bill Flash in version 16 and earlier would say paper. Version 17, you'll choose electronic, choose your Bill Flash format, click OK. It's going to go through bring up your data selection questions just like it did before. We're going to leave them blank. And Metasoft is going to automatically upload your files to Bill Flash in order to process them electronically and and print those out for you and send them to your patients. Now, how how much does Bill Flash charge you per statement? Anybody know? 69 cents, 69 cents, and your statements are right up here in Bill Flash, ready for you to review. I am going to have Mike come up here and introduce you to the the features that you can see here in this screen, and then I'll take over with a, a little bit more of the integration within Metasoft, but the power of what this gives you is just great. Before I let Mike talk, I want to show you one more thing. Those of you who used Bill Flash before, the one table that raised their hand, in the version of Metasoft that you have, when you get a file to upload to Bill Flash, what happens to the, um, the billing status? Is it automatically updated as soon as you output it? When you output that to a file, it updates that billing status regardless of whether Bill Flash gets the statements or not. When this is sent up here, you're going to go through what Mike shows you, and you come back to Metasoft, there will be a question that will let you have the power to say, I want to update the bill count, the the statement bill date. If I say yes, it will go through and update that. If I say no, it doesn't, you can go output it again if there's a problem with what you see. So, Mike, I'll let you take over for just a minute and talk to them about the features that Bill Flash has on the screen. All right, thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. Everybody can hear me? Um, so that was a, a, a good thing to see there. We've got somebody that is using it. Uh, we've been uh, doing Bill Flash with Manisoft, as Tony stated, for several years. Uh, we're very excited that it's now integrated into the product in a great way. It makes it really easy to use, and I think you'll all be very uh, pleased with uh, what happens here. So 
you've got right here to your approval screen. I think that it's important to note that when you think about the idea of doing statements electronically, let's talk for a minute what that means. Uh, you're sending electronically, so you don't have to deal with any of the paper anymore. Your patients still get the mail. They still get the, the same envelope and, and the statement in the mail back to them. But you don't have any of the hassles of it. The other part that we'll look at here is that you're, you're getting uh, more control over your statement processing. Because not only did you get it out, and it was easy to get it out, but you also have uh, a, a visual of the statement. You can go back in and see exactly what the statement looks like uh, that you sent to them. So you get a question from, uh, somebody calls up and has a question about their statement that they received, you can easily see exactly what they're looking at. And in Medisoft, they've gone through and, and gave you some uh, easy clicks to get back to those statements, which I'm sure Tony will show you here in a minute. Is that right in front of me? This is, that's the difference with Tony being 10 feet <laughs> tall. All right, so you get here, you have the opportunity to review exactly what you, what you sent out. Uh, we recently even made more improvements to the review process. Uh, all of these uh, items are sortable, so you can sort and look at your, your group of states in a lot of different ways. Uh, you can look at the state itself to see what it looks like. You can uh, even make some changes uh, once, once you're here. Uh, there's, there's three changes that you can make. You can delete a statement that you don't want to send for whatever reason. You can change the color of the statement. Uh, color we're talking about here is the, the color of paper. Uh, the standard is, is uh, white and you can change it to whatever colors you want. I shouldn't say whatever color because there's three color options. You can say you can go to blue, green, or red. Um, and then you can also add uh, messages on the fly. Uh, there's messages that came with the file. So you do have to, you, you can set messages to automatically come from the file. Uh, but you can also go in here and add a new message that might be very specific to that, that patient. Um, it's, it's basically unlimited, I think it's like 500 characters or something like that. Uh, I, I think it's more than 500, but we've never had anybody tell us that they haven't had enough room. It will wrap around on the page, um, you know, as many as you need, basically. And in fact, if you ever run out, then let us know. We'll, we'll make it longer so you can have enough room for it. Save that, and you can see that it uh, popped up here where you can see it's a custom message. <coughs> I simply save that, and you can see that it's actually on the statement as well. It's showing up right here. So there's up to six messages that can be on there. There's a top message that would show up above this message bar, and then five bullets of messages. Uh, so again, those three changes you can do, you can delete, you can change the color of the paper, you can add messages. All those changes can be done uh, individually on an individual record, but you can also make those changes in a group. Uh, if we wanted a message to go on a group of statements, we can go in here and click on the add group message link. You can save, you can have stored messages in here that you use often. and. If you click on it, it puts it up here in the, the top pale yellow field there, and we click on add message. And you see that it's now listed on all of the records that were selected in that group. Uh, again, you save the changes as you go, and once you approve the file, uh, it confirms what you want to send, you approve it, and you can print out the confirmation if you want. Uh, we always keep track of all of this information online for you. Uh, you can go into your reports. And looking at the reports, you can 
confirms when you uploaded, approved. Uh, when we get confirmation that those statements mailed out, we populate the mail date. In fact, we go so far as to mark those records as mail once we get confirmation that they've been mailed. So if there's ever a question of, I didn't get the statement, here's the proof that it was mailed out. Uh, and what's really neat in, in Medisoft, in Medisoft version 17, is all these features are easily accept, uh, accessible from right within the software. Uh, so it makes it very uh, user-friendly to use Build Flash and uh, to get your statements out. Statements doesn't need to be a hassle. It should be a process that's easy to get the statements out and, and more quickly get payments back. If I can relate a quick story from a customer that uh, started using Build Flash, uh, it's a billing service, and they were contacted by one of their, their doctor customers, and they said, what happened? What did you do? And the, the, the billing service said, excuse me, what, what, are, what are you speaking about? And they said, all of a sudden I'm getting all of these new payments in from, from the patients. What happened? And she said, oh, we started using the Bill Flash service. And, and that's, this isn't a unique story that she says that they increased the patient response to patient payments by 50%. It's because, number one, the statements you're getting out. Number two, it's a nice professional looking statement. It's easy to read. It's a, a tear off coupon that it's easy to, to mail back. And it just gets a good response. And, and uh, we're excited to have it uh, in the software. Tony, Tony. So I, I have heard the exact same thing. We, as we were testing this with version 17 when it first came out, we had a reseller who had a billing service give us the exact same story. They said, we doubled our patient receivables the month we started using this. And I asked why. And they said, the statements that you have in your software suck. And I said, you're right. So rather than try to reinvent the wheel, we figured if this will help you double your statement or your patient response, and it costs a whole lot less, it makes no sense to print out your statements, lick the envelope, and take them to the office. This costs 68 cents per statement. Every single person in this room agreed that it costs at least a dollar to send otherwise. Just to bring it back into some of the integration that we did, because we really think that this is, this is probably one of the coolest things that we have in Metasoft. But in version 17, you can now specify for your bill flash statements that are going out, I want to accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express. You can do that from right within the program. It will affect the statements that they send out and say these are the credit cards we accept. Here are all of those messages that Mike was editing from within the Bill Flash application. If you always want them to be the same thing, you can specify them here and they will go over and automatically be there on your Bill Flash statements when they get over to that screen where he was editing them. So you don't have to take that step once they get there. You can change that from here. You can change the paper color for your batches from here. Uh, there's a whole lot of different things that you can do from within the program. The last coolest thing that I have seen with the integration with Bill Flash has to do with what Mike said, that you have the ability to see the statements. How many of you have gotten a call from a patient saying, I'm looking at this statement, I have questions about it, and you have a problem answering those questions because you can't see exactly what they're looking at? That happens. I have gotten the request to build something in Metasoft for years that will let you see the statements as they were sent to the patient. You have it with Bill Flash in version 17. Let me show you. Here I'm in the quick ledger for Dwight again. There is a new button down here that says view e-statements. I click on it. It launches straight into Bill Flash directly to the statements for Dwight again and shows you the last statement that went to that patient. So you are looking at exactly what the patient has in their hand when they're calling you and making that uh, request and that inquiry.